so at the weekends these days, amongst the hardest decisions we have to make are do we drive to the ride or do we ride to the ride? Well, I think you can tell what our decision was today. So we're a little bit against time this morning and of course we get to the station and the gate shut. So now we've got to climb up. And we're off. Good turnout this morning actually. It's good uh, 10, 11, 12, not sure. Anyway, bit of a group behind us, bit of a group in front. Heading out over the Purbeck somewhere, but I'm sure all will be revealed. Warm showers. Yeah, warm shower hosts. <laughs> we found a trail. Well, if you can call it that. <laughs> oh, great fun. We'll have to look forward to this one again. Just down in the bushes there, it's very narrow. And um, yeah, congestion got in the way. But uh, yeah, definitely worth a little look, this one. Right, on to the next bit. There's some discussion about the route at the moment. I think we're going this way. Okay. Not Nothing wrong with that. Right. It's not lost, it's adventuring, isn't it? I think. Oh, that first mechanical of the pretty, day. Pretty straight. Guys, yeah. get it off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, cut the cable. <laughs> we'll take the, uh, take the wheel out. And it will make it a lot easier then. <laughs> So anyway, Andre's got a gear, Chain, chain's a bit loose, but um, hopefully it'll get him back to the road. Train station's not that far if he feels he wants to go back. So uh, as you can see, it's a little bit of hiker bike at the moment. Yeah. Somebody just scouted ahead while we were fixing the, the bike there. And um, the message was, the route isn't exactly clear. No, sorry, the route is a little unclear. So. Um, Let's wait and see. Blokes on gravel bikes crashing their way through the undergrowth. <laughs> oh my god, we found ourselves a path at last. Oh yes. I think we sort of know where we are now, so this is good news. Good news indeed. Uh, Thanks, well, Andre. Uh, guys, uh, nice to ride with you. Yeah. See you next time. Hopefully we'll do it too real. Next time we'll Angus. go on a route that we actually know is a route. Yeah, that's true as well. Where's the fun in that? It's just it's a route, hey, it's just yeah, oh, where's the fun? That's it. Yeah. Right. See, you See you later. later. Yeah. Hang on. Oh, Bunker. 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 oh no. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you can tell today is gonna to be a day full of incidents, let's call it. We've now got a puncher, so it's such is life. <laughs> And it bumped it up to no, about This is a great pump. Yeah. Go on, well done. Nearly there. Go on, JB. Keep going. It's only to where he stood. It's not as far as you think. Good job. Go on, keep pushing. Doing well. Today. A bit misty today. Yeah, a little bit misty today. Still pretty spectacular up here all the same. Problem with being the cameraman is you always end up at the back and you have to race like bugger to catch everybody up. But it's done wonders for my fitness. Yeah, I think there is something on there about that. Yeah. I think they're on. Do you see what I mean? Now I've got to catch all that up. 
I think you can see where we're going next. I'm going to have to put you away for this, I'm sorry. Because this is definitely two hands, one finger on each brake, over the back of the saddle and just go for it. So, see you at the bottom. Well, we all made it. That was a bit of fun. And here we are. Sun's coming out. It's looking great. Gradually clearing the mist. See a bit more of what's going on. Paul Harbour. Yeah. Seems, seems to be a day for chains and derailers today. But uh, not such a crucial problem this time. So um, back on the road and away we go. Yeah, that horrible one. Another one. Yeah, some weeks, well most weeks actually, to be fair, we come out, no problems at all. Today, we had two derailleur problems, one terminal, three punctures. Yeah, it just goes like that sometimes. But um, anyway, coincidentally, the punctures all in tyres with a certain name. I won't say who it is. Nine Barrow down. Unfortunately, from here it is down. Unfortunately, it leads to very much an up on the other side, and uh, it's a very loose up as well. So uh, let's enjoy the down while we can. Well, halfway up the climb at the obelisk, looking down on Swanage. I know you'll have seen this view before, but. It never gets old. There's old Harry Rock over there, or will be in a minute. And uh, looks like looks like we're going to go over into the abyss and down into the water here, but uh, you can actually charge down there, there's plenty of room. I know. It's just so beautiful. The view just doesn't get old, does no. it? No. No. Coffee. <laughs> coffee. She's screaming for coffee now. Carrying people across. Lovely weekend, and everybody wants to get a ball. Somebody was saying. I don't know how true this is. You. <laughs> Well, I was certainly giving blood today, but that just means it's fun, doesn't it? We're thinking it's well over 30 degrees today. Started off really misty and sort of chilly. But um, actually, I'm not feeling it too bad because I've got just a light shirt on. And there's lots of places where the air can get in. And, uh, and because, of course, it's sort of got that crispy cheesecloth texture to it. Not much of it is actually touching me, so it's quite nice. But uh, anyway, here we are. Paul Harbour, and we're heading off to Frank's Tank. Frank's Tank, definitely a photo opportunity. Always. <laughs> Going for me blood. Uh, well, it did haul up to now. That's it. Yeah. More sand. <laughs> I really ought to time my filming a bit better.
Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And here we are, back in Wareham. So, uh, back where the ride started and about uh, 10 miles from home. So, uh, yeah, won't be too long and we'll be heading back home. But I've got a feeling Julie wants a coffee and possibly an ice cream over the road there before we head home. So, uh, the rest of the group will be heading down the road here in a minute and um, let's see if we can get them coming in. Just a minute, that looks like Julie on the front. That's it, show them the way home. That's it, end of the ride, so we're heading back now. We're going down the Seeker Trail, and uh, Paul's very kindly going to show us around. Nice gravel, easy which is uh, always good at the end of a hard ride. This is pretty cool out here. We'll definitely be coming out here sometime. We're nearly back, so um, we're just refueling. We're taking um, taking on some sugar. It's a bit of a, um, a pre-bonk strategy. I've got a feeling that after three long rides in three days, Julie's, um, even though we're only five or six kilometers or you know, three or so miles from home, she's definitely um, Got to make sure she gets there one piece with no, <laughs> no throwing her toys out of the brand. So should be good. Anyway, we'll be home soon. We'll, um, I think it's mostly downhill from here, and um, the only hills that we do have to go up are only little ones, and um, you can get a bit of a run at them. So it should be good. But um, looks like it's going to be over 100k for the day. Uh, we were. 90 odd K yesterday and something else the day before but you know we've racked up the miles this this weekend and uh, yeah it's been good training for the coast to coast that I'll be doing in um, in October which will be a hundred miles a day for four or five days you know, five days so um, yeah actually I feel not too bad my legs are weary now but um, what we've been doing is very much harder than road riding and um, the coast to coast will be mostly road riding so uh, yeah I, I feel pretty good about it to be honest so um, anyway <laughs> yeah that probably wasn't a very good move <laughs> I've got to try and get her back on a bike yeah. come on let's go let's get home <laughs> so we're back in Winton we're only about, uh, I don't know, half, half a mile from home and uh, Julie's just decided that we should buy a biryani on the way home for tea tonight, so uh, we could well be doing that now. Uh, to be quite honest, I don't think either one of us feels like standing up in the kitchen and cooking, so uh, yes, yeah, so a biryani, feet up, uh, rest the legs. Probably be a, a very nice idea. <laughs> 